Uh, we're going to be on to part five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's part five. Um, I don't know how many parts there is going to be to this. There's going to be a bunch of parts because there's quite a bit of work that goes into it. Um, so anyways, I got the block here. The block's all cleaned up. Uh, what I'm going to do to it right now, I'm going to buff it and stuff later before I paint it, before I do final wash. But um, so I've already torqued. I actually meant to, to show you guys torquing, but use a torque wrench, torque these. Um, so, and we have to have, for doing the machining, we have to have at least um, two of the mains, but I actually prefer to, on the on any block, I prefer to have all the mains on and torqued when you're doing your final honing um, because I have seen, Cummins not so much, but I have seen some blocks that actually distort when you final torque them, which is kind of odd, like the, the cylinders will actually distort. But anyways, um, so what I'm gonna do here is, I got the dial bore gauge already set. Just gonna grab it from home. Now, this is kind of a three-handed job, so you just have to bear with me here. So, you can see on the gauge, get the glare out of there. Oh no, get the hole. And what you want to do, and I'll show you guys after I do it here, but... Then it's just about half a thou big on that side. These things are never absolutely perfect. And then There again, about half a thou, which is fine. I'd rather a little tiny bit big. And this gauge, I actually got the gauge set on minimum, so we're actually good anyway. So basically what you do is you go in there and you measure, hold on, let me put the gauge down again. Dial board gauges and stuff that we use, they're, uh, they're, like that sun and stuff is actually, is really expensive stuff. So you really wanna be banging it around if you don't have to. So anyways, what I recommend, so how we do it is you check, you check from here to here, and then from here to here, and then here to here. And basically that's just telling you if it's perfectly round, right? And half a thou on a main that size, I'm not concerned about. Especially if you're half a thou big, which we're big and not small, because if you're small, that's going to add more pressure to the bearing. And when you're only talking a couple thou oil clearance, that's a big deal, right? So you just go through, um, you know, I, I'd show all of it, but yeah, I don't need to show all of it for you guys. It's just exactly the same thing going throughout. So, so you just start at one and go to the other. If there's an issue, what you do is you cut the cap and then you line hone it which I'll show in another video. There's nothing wrong with this block, so I'm not gonna go, go through the hassle of doing all that, being that there's nothing wrong with it. But I will show doing a, a line hone in another video at a later date when we, uh, when we do one. So um, from na right now, what we need to do is we need to go over to the boring, the boring bar. I'll set the, the block up and then I'll show you guys boring. Um, we're gonna do that um, number five cylinder first. Make sure it cleans up at 20. If it doesn't clean up, we'll try at 40. If it doesn't clean up at 40, then we'll have to sleeve it. So let's, uh, we'll do that and uh, I'll see you guys over at the boring bar. All right guys, um, so I got it over in the boring bar. Um, basically, I've already, I leveled it and I got it, it centered to this cylinder. I had to bring it down almost to the bottom of the bore because the top of the bore is all screwed up. So, uh, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna rough bore that one for 20. Um, and as long as it cleans up at 20, then I will rough bore all for 20, and then we'll go over to the hone. If not, then I'll have to sleeve it. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if I have time to sleeve it today because it's considerably more work, and I got a bunch of other stuff I need to do today. Um, being today is Saturday, but 
Um, at the very least, we'll, I'll show you that part. Um, hopefully it'll clean up at 20. I'd prefer it if it did, but we'll go from there. Um, I'm gonna throw this on time-lapse now. All right, um, you can just see me just going through and boring, checking the gauge or the bore there. Just, I did it in two steps on that one. I just wanted to see how much material I had to take out. It did seem to clean up though, so. Just going through it, boring everything off quick here. Hopefully, uh, it's not too bad. All right, guys, so I got this thing all bored out here. That number five cylinder cleaned up okay, so that's good. Cleaned up to 20. Other than there's a little tiny mark there, but I think that'll clean up because we still got a few thou to go, but we'll find out when we uh, stuff it in the hone and go from there. All right, guys, uh, I got the block in the surfacer now, um, so we're going to surface it off before we hone it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that number five cylinder is going to clean up, so we'll find out pretty shortly. Um, anyways, so when you get this on here, you need to level it. I've already leveled it and checked everything with a gauge. We're then within two thou from side to side, from end to end and side to side. So I'm going to put it in a time lapse and we'll buzz this off quick. And then uh, I will see you guys over at the hone when we get it in the hone. So we're just doing a couple quick passes on this and got her cleaned up. So we got the uh, block in the hone here now, and I'm getting ready to bolt the torque plate on. Um, so you put a head gasket in there, bolt the torque plate down. I will, uh, I'm just going to put this in a time lapse um, because it's a long drawn process torquing everything. But just wanted to say, so when we're doing these on a stock application, um, we torque everything to 120 foot pounds on the... Uh, on the the bolts and if they're high performance stuff then we'll use the studs but this motor i don't know if it's going to get studs it's just going to get 425 so this is more than sufficient for that all right uh, get uh, back to you when i start honing so you can just see just checking the bores getting everything set up <clears throat> so i'm going to do number five first to make sure we have everything uh set up the way that i want it to and uh, make sure that cylinder is going to clean up the way that i want so the number the number five uh, cylinder did clean up okay. I'm not perfect that finished size yet. You can see there's still a little tiny line there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I still got a couple thou to pull out, so I think that it'll clean up okay. The other cylinder that I thought might be suspect, it cleaned up okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them off, and uh, then we'll get back at you. All right, guys, so I'm just going to do the finishing on, on the block. Basically, you use a brush um, for knocking the top of the peak off after you're done honing. It's a special brush for doing it, and then we do these with diamonds. So um, I'll put it back in a time lapse, and I'll show that part. Basically, the same as honing, just with brushes instead. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video for uh, well, what we... Check the mains, showed you guys how to check the mains, surface the block, and then board the block and surface, or and then finish on the block. Um, so we ended up, cylinders look pretty good. Um, that cylinder that had the funny little mark in it, that little mark is gone, so that's perfect. Uh, so the next video, um, I think what I'm gonna do, depending on, I gotta wait until I don't have something in the seat and guide machine after hours, but we'll polish the crankshaft and then at that point, um, when the parts show up, then I can uh, we can just start assembling the bottom end if I don't have the head done. Um, and then yeah, we can get. And I'm gonna I still have to clean the block and stuff, but I I I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to show you how I clean the block. Um, we can do that, like clean the the rest of the scale and stuff off. It's completely up to you guys if you want me to show that or not. Um, not that it's really rocket science, but up to you. And then, uh, anyways, I will. Uh, Please like, um, subscribe, share um, to guys that you know that might want to see it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.